Hello, everybody. Hmm, my name is Meftaz. Welcome back to Well. Um. Okay. I guess my game is now open to land, so anybody who wants to join, come on in. Um, oh well. Yeah, today I'm doing something a little bit different on my channel. I'm doing a mod showcase, which is going to be pretty cool. I'm excited. I don't know about you guys. I'm excited. And today's mod is the going to be Galactic Craft. And um, I do have a problem, which is I'm a Mac user, so I cannot do a lot of mods. I can only do things like Hexit and Techit and Galactic Craft and things like that. But I have a tech it, um mod pack here today, which means um I got all the uh, eh, all the tech it stuff. I got um all the um Galactic Craft stuff. Um yeah um I just wanted to see something. Do I have a chair? No, I don't. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, so today, as you may have noticed, is um, Galactic Craft. Woohoo! Um, yeah, so the first couple of items that, um, that we're going to talk about are, um, are these ones, which are, um, well, I'll, I'll just, I'll just, I'm just going to dive right into this, I think. Um, so this is the Galactic Craft mod, um, made by the wonderful people at um, Technic. So it's it's um, Techit, and as you can see, kind of at the top up there, it's Techit. Um, yeah, but these first two items, this is a rocket launch pad, and you craft this. Eh. Um. So, no, I do not want to do that. All right. Um. There we go. It's better. Um, so you craft this using um, a, um three blocks of iron along the bottom, and then three invar ingots, which are ingots that you can find naturally generating in your galactic craft world. Um, yeah, and you bring them three by three, like I did, and you get this wonderful thing, where you can put your rocket on. But we will get to that in just one second. Um, this year, this big massive fella, it's called a NASA workbench. And, um, basically, what this guy is, it's kind of like a crafting table, but for your, um, your rocket ship. So what you need to, um, to craft this is a crafting table in the middle, and then lead ingots on the top, invert ingots on the sides, and then an electric ingot on the bottom. And m most of the ingots are ones that you can find, um, just run around your world. Some of them are not, but these, all those ones are. And now there are some things that you need to put into there, like heavy duty um plating. And to craft this heavy duty plating, um you are going to um what the heck? Oh here it is. Um yeah, you are going to need invar ingots along the top, copper ingots along here, and tin ingots along here. And tin and copper you can um yeah. You can find naturally generating in your world. I want to find um steel is one of the ingots that you oh hello pick. Steel is one of those ingots that you have to craft. Um and um yeah, so what you do is you have coal, um coal or char charcoal, doesn't matter which one. Um and then a minimum stone and steel dust all around that creates a steel ingot. And um powered furnace, if you just use steel dust and smelt it, you can get a steel ingot. So that's the easiest way to do that. And to get um steel dust, um you just have a piece of iron in the middle and then coal around it and have little troughs. And you do a bunch of hickory pokery to make your rocket. And it does indeed look somewhat like this. So we're gonna pump that onto there. I don't know if you saw the way I was holding that. You hold it above your head, and it's really awesome. 
And there. Now it's on here. And normally, you have to, um, fuel it, but I'm using the creative mode version of it. And, um, yeah, but the good thing is, is, um, well, actually, it's not a good thing. I don't know why I said that, but I'm not going to show you how to do all the fuel loaders and stuff. But you will find that on the Galactic Craft website. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click into it. And then you can see space is launched. A and D is turning left and um, right. W and S is turning up and down. And F is fuel. So fuel you can see when you're, when you're loading your fuel. This big bar will announce this all the way to the top. Um, like that. And so you, your rocket can actually have its own inventory as well. So I can take those and put them there. Alright, um, let's launch. So you just um, tap your space bar. And it says, I don't have a parachute. I better get out. I better get out. Oh, wait, no, or not, or not. Um, actually, um, I can just go game mode 1 for this part. Um, just so I don't crash or anything. Um, then I will be alive for the rest of the show kids. So look at this, beautiful, your rocket looks off. There's a really cool particle effect coming off the bottom. And it's kind of like fire up, up in this area, and then down there, there's more smoke. And then if you look to the, um, over at that big meter on the left side of the screen, you will see that, um, like that, that big thing. And basically, that little icon moving is me, so it's like your skin face inside of a rocket. And it's kind of like the atmosphere while we're, we're um, launching. And you can see on my little mini map, our altitude is rising. We're at um, almost eight. We're at about 800 right now, which is amazing. Um, yeah, and you actually go um, 1,200 blocks high, I think. Yeah, yeah. 1200 blocks high, so, um, yeah, that's a lot more building space, you can, I believe you can actually build up this high, too, now, um, so, in about two seconds, the little GUI will pop up, like that, and so you can choose the overworld to go to, you can choose the moon, or you can create a space station, and to create your space station, you need inver ingots, copper ingots, redstone reception coils, and tank, I keep thinking I'm saying that wrong, I think it's invar ingots. So, overworld is full of life, habitable, gravity 100%, moon is habitable, no oxygen, gravity 18% of what um, Earth is. So, I'm going to click Send to Dimension. And um, right here, you can see, you see my little character. It automatically brings you into third person. So, look at this. Look how awesome this is. And I'm going too fast, so if you hold down your space bar, um, your entry velocity will slow down. You want to keep it green. Um, what you really want to keep it at is um, 3 meters per second, like when you ran anyway. But if you hold down shift, you can speed the whole process up again. So you can see once you start to speed up. That happens, and boom, you see I'm getting gradually faster. I'm just doing this so I can get to the ground quicker. Plus, I'm on creative mode right now, so it doesn't matter. And there, I just landed. Survive mode, I probably would have crashed, but oh well. But I can click, and I'm out. And I should actually mention that I have um, an oxygen tank on right now, um, but oh well. Um, so yeah, you can just go out of third person as you normally would. And um, look, at, look at this place. So, you actually do leave footprints, like along the ground, which is uh, really cool. And they never, like, um, go away, they never deteriorate, they're always there, they never fade away. And watch the gravity, woohoo! So it's really cool, like, falling from a high place, like, imagine, like, having, like, a swimming pool, like, going, like, I'm gonna dive, woo, no, I'm gonna dive, woo! <laughs> like, I think if you fell on the moon, you wouldn't get hurt. <laughs> um, yeah, so this place is really cool, um, you can actually get moon buggies, too. And this over here is a moon dungeon, so um, here you can look how slowly you fall. Um, you can't see it from this side, um, but you go here and you can see it. It's kind of a bit glitchy at the moment and you can't get out of them. Uh, that's because, for some reason, of course 1.7.4 is out, but I'm playing this mod on 1.6. Um, I think actually 
or 1.6.1 and um yeah and that basically means that um it's kind of glitchy and stuff but so I'm trying to download like the 1.7 version but I can't um like it, whenever I so like if I go to the title screen it'll say 1.6.4 is up for it's available for download go to minecraft go to minecraft.net to download it when I go there it downloads like the real version of Minecraft, not the fake mod version. So that's kind of the problem with it. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much what this mod has to offer. Um, there will be a download link in the description below. Um, it's actually not really a download link. You have to go onto their website and then download the mod pack from there and create an account. So you have to, well, you actually have to sign in to your Minecraft account on there. But don't worry, it's completely safe. It's not like a super scam or anything, so don't worry, you are fine. Um, but yeah, yeah, there is, there are um, a couple more things that this mod has to offer, um, including there are flags, by the way, which I forgot to mention. So um, if you choose um, this this flag, the one that just says flag, the green flag, blah blah blah, blah, blah then there's the American flag. So that. You actually have to like hold the click and then click again. Um, so that's the American flag. If I come over here, boom, it's beautiful. But then, all right, that flag. Watch this. Boom, that's my skin. Isn't that awesome? Look, that is me on a flag. And look, I'm holding a flag with me on it. It's kind of glitchy, but. Oh well, this mod is really cool, and I definitely recommend downloading it. So, um, yeah, go ahead to the description, and you'll find the download link. But, um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye! Oh, man, this mod is fun. Um, um.